Today's topic. Hey, what's up, guys? Justin Wayne here. And this today, is Justin Wayne, to one of the most popular so called seduction artists on YouTube. His videos have scored millions of views, and his channel has 127,000 subscribers. Wayne tries to prove that his tips work by posting what he calls in field videos or lay reports. Is he posting photos of himself making out with a girl in his bedroom? Hidden camera footage of him picking up seemingly unsuspecting women. I don't want to watch this anymore. That's gross, bro. I'm, listen, I'm going to say this about it, okay? There's a lot of goobers in this pickup artist industry. There's a lot of guys who are not only fake, but very creepy. And uh, yeah. posting videos of you smashing prop people, even if it's censored, like, I don't know. If they're not consenting, especially, like, bro. Wayne sometimes partially masks the identity of the women in his videos, suggesting that they did not consent to be filmed. Wayne claims he gets permission for the videos that he posts online, but he didn't blur their faces because of any enforced standards from YouTube. We've added additional blurring to protect their identities. Wayne isn't the only questionable character who operates with impunity on the site. He's just the one who invited us to watch how he does it. So thanks for coming out. This is going to be a very, very simple talk. It's really just about helping you guys out where you guys are right now. I don't want to go into too much like random theory. I, I want to hit the juggler. Most of the time, you're just not probably trying to touch the girls early enough. That's number one. And by not touching her or trying to touch her, you know, it's easier to get friend zone at that point. Okay, I don't know if it's the editing, because I highly doubt he just started the seminar with touching her and, like, starting, you know, a bit of keno or whatever. But even if he doesn't, even if he doesn't, okay. it's cringe. All right, I'm, I'm going to say this. There's a certain energy you exude when you're really comfortable with yourself and you're good with ladies, all right? And what I've noticed watching a couple of dudes from the, the, the pickup artist community or even the red pill community yeah. is that some of them uh, basically fake the funk when I'm... Seeing them, I'm like, mm, you're not really about this life. And when this I look at this awesome. dude, I'm getting that exact same idea. Wayne's weekend boot camps cost $999. He brought along a Russian woman named Jenny. She also appears in Wayne's YouTube videos, initially as one of his targets. But now he claims she's one of his girlfriends, proof that his methods work. You know, you want it to be touchy-feely right away, in the right way. And we have something called the, the orders of touch, okay? I'm going to borrow you. Okay, just come here. All right. So the order to touch is basically, look, you can start with, for example, like high fives, hand stuff. And you can go here, right? The elbow this way. He's trying so hard not to laugh. But yeah, let's just keep watching. Then you can go shoulder. And at this point is when you can probably go closer. Then you can do like probably nose to nose, mouth to mouth, boobs, and it goes down, right? In general, what do you want in the end? Taba match. This is what happens when uh, people just read stuff and then start regurgitating. This shit's weird, bro. Yeah, I read I, I read a book like that and a couple of a couple of years ago. There's a lot of this some things that I took from that book was a lot of things I threw away. Like the Bible. Like I'm not doing that shit. For me, I kinda just wanna be able to to meet like the girls that I'm attracted to, you know what I mean? You know, kinda like what you have going. Okay. From, from what I've seen, yeah. But are you teaching them to be assholes? Oh, no, definitely not. I'm not saying I haven't used any asshole tactics yet with them. Um, teach them how to be men. Are you teaching them how to be assholes? No, no, definitely not. I haven't been teaching them how to be assholes yet. Yet. I don't know. It's just funny how he said yet, as if he's going to teach them how to be assholes later. Everything about this dude screams fraud. The real victims in all this are the guys who paid a grand. I'm going to say that much. And you tell guys when a girl says no to respect that. Of course. I mean, actually, that's why we have, you know, these programs. We teach them how to gauge the levels of touch. It's not even just about, it's not about them getting like a, getting in trouble in court. It's just about them getting the girl. Like if, if he overdoes it and the girl feels uncomfortable, it, you know, it lowers his chances. It's all about paying attention to where she is. And uh, that's been very successful for myself and for a lot of my students. Have you guys ever gamed the beach before? You're gonna have to start making moves, okay? So there are some girls over there, but they're looking at us with the camera. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, no, what I want you guys to do now, make it easier for me. Look around for for like maybe two girls or something like that, or one girl laying down. See that woman standing next to him? That's another one of Wayne's supposed girlfriends, introduced to us as Kelly from Finland. Before leaving for the beach, we'd put a mic on Wayne, and we're rolling when he got into an argument with Kelly. 
He threatened not to pay her if she did not cooperate. Underneath one kind of apparent exploitation, we found another. Let, let's just get this shit over here, because I'm only here for the money. I'm not going to want to pay if it's like, if you embarrass me on camera. I can do anything I want. Like, you have to remember, I'm always going to have more weapons and stuff like that, OK? Just don't fuck with me, please, OK? I'm not, I'm going to lose it all. I'm crazy like that. I've always been crazy. That's why I put girls online and, and they, they, for years, and no one does anything to me. Listen to me. If you don't trust me, listen to me. 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 Listen to Yeah, I expected. I'm surprised. That's <sighs> what you said. You called it. I ain't got nothing else to say. I didn't expect it to be flagrant, though. This is weird. That dude clearly, clearly threatened her. I've got more weapons. I'm willing to risk it all. I'm crazy like that. That's why I posted girls online and shit like that. What? And no one has done anything to me? Today's video is sponsored by Surfshark VPN. So a VPN is basically an application or a web extension that you could use on your web browser or on your internet to mask your IP address, basically hiding your location from whatever website you're interacting with. Now, you might think, why would I wanna hide where I'm at? It doesn't matter. Well, unfortunately, there are places that block you based off of your IP address. And so if you're trying to view online content, download, download certain things based off where you live, those things could be restricted. Now, I like watching TV shows, feel me? Sometimes they're foreign, feel me? And when that happens, basically I use a VPN to be able to bypass that so I can watch what I wanna watch because I feel like the internet's at its best when everything's accessible. If you use promo code ABBA and PREACH, you get 83% off plus three months free. So, take advantage of the deal, watch what you wanna watch and don't be restricted by anyone's barriers. You deserve to go wherever you'd like to go. Like I said, just cause you see a dude with a lot of girls, does not mean that this man knows what he's doing or that you should take his advice. All right, I've had people approach me, Abba, can you give me coaching? I'm not a coach. Just because I've had some measure of success in my life with my dating prospects does not mean I'm fit to go and teach you how to be able to do That's not what that means, okay? A lot of these guys will come in and just repeat what they read in books or saw from other people, even though yep. they haven't done any of the work, and then they'll teach it to you have awkwardly. no understanding of... No. And look, th there's plenty of seduction coaches online that are perfectly fine, right? Shan Boudram's a good example, right? She teaches, she helps ladies with stuff and stuff like that. And there's other people on the male side who are also fine. But then you got dudes like this who, are, no, that's a no. And, How do you make the difference? Um, that's tough. That's tough because you see these guys and they pay for women, right? So the markers of success that you would normally see, they're paying for them. He's uh, paying for ladies to show up. It's just a magician that has a uh, assistant. She's in on the tricks. She's paid. You can't rely on her. She's like, oh my God, what I'm doing here? Oh, what? I'm a brand new dress. Oh, shit. It's paid. Right. But then there are some illusionists who don't necessarily hire random people to do what they need to do, but they actually do really proper illusions. Right? They don't fake their interactions with the people there. So it's hard to know which one's which. And so I have no easy answers for you. I have no easy answers. I'm, I'm not going to lie. But I would tell you that there's a lot of them who fake it. There's a lot of them who pay for people to come around them. Yeah, that's pretty much what I would tell you. After this, Wayne insisted we interview her. Are you adjusting in a relationship? Yes. How are you going to ask to interview her and you're standing behind her like, yeah, go ahead, answer it. I got to. <laughs> I got to thank you seriously. How long? Four years. Oh, okay. And do you have a tattoo? Yeah. What is it? Mate. His name. His name. Why'd you get his name tattooed? I love him. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is one of the few times where people I want if you guys thought that was sus, I want you to get in the comments and be like, hey sis, blink twice if you need help. This is those times. This is one of those times where that's very legitimate. Yeah. I want you guys to also comment on a scale of one to ten. How creeped are are you by this whole thing? Wayne scolded Kelly for her performance afterward. We repeatedly tried to talk to Kelly alone, but she refused, or Wayne intervened. Do you get their permission to put them online? Yeah, of course. I mean, okay. yeah, a lot of times, let's say Jenny, for example, she, I told her and she was like, okay, and, and if, if, they don't, like, if they don't want to, I just not show anything, you know, simple. She said the video was up for a month before you told her about it. No, she knew that the video would be posted, she just didn't, asked me like when it was posted so that's a clarification it's not what she told me and so is everything that happens in the video real yes did you pay jenny or kelly 
No. Did you pay them to be on camera when, while we were here? No. You didn't pay either of them? Nope. She would do it for me because I'm good to her as a, you know, as a boyfriend. I heard you say that you wouldn't pay her if she didn't do the interview and make you look good. Oh yeah, I told her to do the interview well, or else I'm not going to be there for her in general. Not pay her, that's not what it, that's not Did what it meant. Did you threaten her? Basically, I was just like, yo, you know, come on, you can do this, you know? She's like, I know, I'm just gonna say, like, come on, don't do this, you're making me upset, you know? I was like upset because she seemed, and she also seemed upset about the camp. She's like, I don't know if I really wanna do this, you know, like, you know, like I've done a lot for you. I noticed that like a lot of the girls in your videos are foreign, why is that? So, you know, there's American girls also, but a lot of them are foreign because, you know, in New York and uh, Miami is a lot of foreign girls. Hold on, it's can, just can I, can coincidence? I, can, I, yeah, can I get some water? You know, this is not like, you know, something that, oh, just, 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 just let you guys know. Excuse me? Uh huh. I'm listening. I prefer just to talk to you about like my teachings. Yeah. I don't yeah, want to create yeah. anything where it's like too much about like fishiness about me, like really mistreating people. Four days after our interview, nice Wayne took down all nice his YouTube videos. Um, all right. A day later, he released this cryptic message announcing his retirement, kind of. For now, I'm just kind of like relaxing. You know, sometimes everyone needs a break. But less than a week after that, he put a few of the old videos back online. We asked YouTube if the sorts of videos that Wayne and others post violate the platform's terms of service. We also asked if the site ran ads on them, and what mechanisms YouTube has in place to prevent such content from existing on the site in the first place. In response, a YouTube spokesperson provided a short statement about their privacy complaint process. Even if so, um, Justin Wayne ends up quitting the internet, there will be plenty of other pickup artists to take his place, as well as creators of every other shade of questionable, disturbing, or potentially illegal content. And for now, YouTube will be there to take a cut. That's the beautiful thing about this stuff. It's just such a, you know, elegant work of art. It's a beautiful science, art, everything in one. God damn. It's hard to watch. I mean, it's more than hard to watch. If he did film them without their consent, then yeah, that's illegal. And uh, that's criminal, for one. But two, this stuff was online. YouTube run ads on them? I mean, listen. YouTube counts on the creator to say that they got the prior right to all those videos. And so... It's not on YouTube to do that. If there's a privacy concern, someone's privacy was violated, the person can file. And that's, YouTube can't guarantee that everyone in your videos is there and wants to be there. That's not how it works. Yeah. So I can't hold YouTube accountable for that. But yeah, I mean, if that's what he did, then that's a criminal act. Especially like filming them. Like if, he didn't, if he didn't get consent for that stuff, that's creepy, bro. Bucking? That's, that's crazy. No. no. That's crazy. I don't know. It, it's tough. Uh, people try to pay for a lot of this coaching stuff, and oftentimes uh, I don't know how I feel about it always because, uh, again, a lot of these teachers are fake. It's not a regulated industry, right? So you get a lot of snake oil salesmen who will just repeat what other people have said just to be able to take your money. So just be careful when you guys are out there and seeking out that advice, and you're paying for it, all right? So just be mindful of that. Yeah, I've had girls hit me up and they're like, man, dude, could you coach me? I'm like, coach you? Like, what made coach you think you I was a professional? Coach you for what? I don't know. One girl was like, Matthew Hussey's a fake. I need your help. I'll pay you like, it was pretty good money too. I wasn't going to lie. Part of me wanted to take the money just so I could be like, have you learned your lesson now? You know, but, um, <laughs> but, you Wait know. You're like, yeah, see? Yeah. Nothing. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I know you've heard about Nigerian princes. Well, what about Ethiopian princes? What's up, girl? <laughs> and she'd be like, what about them? <laughs> Yeah, it's just, you know, be careful out there. And yeah, don't don't take a lot of this advice. Don't do it. For the people that are watching and they're, they're wondering, oftentimes it's really just common sense. Okay? The, the advice that it is, it's common sense. Better yourself. How do I build confidence? Better yourself. Know your worth. Work on yourself. Go to the gym. Wash yourself. Okay? I love the Buddha. Okay? Usanti. Usanti to up. Usanti, mon cher. I love the Buddha. I love the Bushu. All that to say, better yourself. Learn some shit. Read a book. Read a book. Go to the gym. Wash yourself. Learn skills. Learn how to cook. Learn how to dance. 
Know your worth. That's what it is by knowing your worth. Having, add some skills. Learn a new language. Something to talk about. Some people, they don't have nothing to talk about. And that's mostly that. I'm 18 and I don't know. I've, I've been failing in dating. Well, that's because you're 18 and, you know, you don't learn a new skill. Have something to talk about, to show for. That's what it is. Better yourself and know your worth. That's what I would say. Other than that, the rest is just extra. But really, at the base of things, that's what it is. Mm. So I'll probably tell you guys two things. One, uh, just seek out a lot of adversity. I think uh, as a man especially, you guys have to build character. All right. And seeking out adversity means doing things that are difficult. All right. What a lot of what preach said, that applies. But also that also means talking to ladies. All right. Even when it's three girls in front of you, you want to go up. Seek that adversity out, you know. As you get more comfortable in those environments, you do it more often. The second thing is you need to reflect. It's not enough to just go bang your head against the wall. If you're not getting able to get through because it's concrete, maybe find some different solutions to your problem. You have to reflect on whatever failures you have and see how you can get better at it. So um, put in the work, put in the effort. And then the second thing is reflect. If you don't learn from whatever mistakes that you make uh, or if you don't try things differently, uh, then you're not going to have any measure of success in that regards. So that's what it really comes down to. That's probably like the two most basic advice I could give you guys. But most people fail at number one. They don't even show up. So they're too afraid to even do the approaching. That's really that's really that. I I, I know I suck I suck at, at dating. What have you done, Nathan? I mean, you know, also at the same time in this day and age, a lot of people are like, I don't want to approach, you know, I'm, I'm too afraid. And I get that too. Even though it partially feels like an excuse, I do understand it to some degree. There's no easy solutions, guys. Uh, yeah. Well, but you There's gotta no do easy. it. There's no easy solutions. Alright, well, that's it for today's video. Let us know what you guys think in the comments. Below.